After you've begun some initial configurations on your switch, you'll want to know how to save your configuration. You can see that I'm using Packet Tracer and I have a command line interface to the switch. Notice the banner message and that I'm being prompted for a password. I'll put in the password Cisco, type enable password class to get to privileged exec mode. I'll type in configure terminal to get to global config mode and I'll set the host name of the switch to S1. To save the configuration on the switch, I'll go back to privileged exec mode by typing exit and pressing enter. And then from privileged exec mode, I put in the command copy running dash config startup dash config. This command means copy the running configuration to the startup configuration file. The running configuration is the currently working configuration that's running in RAM memory. The startup configuration file is stored in NVRAM memory. The difference is that RAM is volatile and NVRAM is non-volatile, so if you copy the configuration to NVRAM, it will be available when the switch is restarted or reloaded. So I'll press enter and you can see that I'm prompted for the destination file name. The default name is startup-config and you can see it between the brackets. I'll press enter to accept the name within the brackets. My configuration is now saved. I can verify the location of my saved configuration file by putting in the command dir for directory. I'll put a space and a question mark and you can see that there's two different types of storage that I have access to. Flash memory and NVRAM. Both of these are non-volatile. The flash memory holds the iOS operating system and the NVRAM holds the configuration file. I'll put in NVRAM and a colon and press enter and you can see there's the startup-config file. Now if I was to reload the switch or incur a power failure, my configurations will remain. I'll press the arrow keys on my keyboard and do an up arrow to go back to the command copy running-config startup-config. There's an easier way of typing this command with command shortening. Instead of having to type out running-config and startup-config, I can simply type copy run start and command shortening will finish the command for me. If I reload the switch, I'll put in the reload command, proceed with reload, I'll press enter to confirm, we'll see that after the switch reloads that the host name will remain S1 and we should see the same banner message. You can see there's the banner message. I'm prompted for a password. This indicates that the configuration was saved and the host name or device name shows up on the command prompt, also indicating that the configuration was successfully saved and reloaded upon startup. If I wish to erase the configuration, I'll type in enable, put in my password to get back to privileged exec mode. I can put in the command erase STA, I'll press the tab key to finish the command, and the full command is erase startup-config. I'll press enter, and I'm given a warning. Do I want to really do this? Do I want to continue? The default answer is confirm, so I'll press enter. You can see the message output to the screen indicating that the NVRAM has been altered, or in this case, erased. I can now reload the switch. And this time, upon reload, it should take us directly to the switch command prompt without any authentication required or banner message. I'll press enter and you can see that I'm brought directly to the switch command prompt. The host name S1 is no longer there, nor banner message, nor line console zero password required. Knowing how to save your configuration and erase a configuration and reload the switch is an important skill to master.